Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and I don't know if you can tell from my voice that I have a bit sore throat. So yeah, just bear with me for this video. I'll probably get well soon pretty quick. Already, I didn't make videos for 3 days and I was really frustrated because I really enjoy making tutorials but I wasn't able to record my voice. I wasn't able to speak actually properly. So today I felt a bit better. So I thought let's make a tutorial. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create a really nice simple and minimal looking logo reveal in After Effects using shape layers. So this is going to be a tutorial for purely beginners. So without any further ado let's get straight into the video and get started. Alright so here we are in After Effects so let's start by creating a new composition. Let's rename this to main comp. 1920 into 1080 30 frames 5 seconds looks good enough and hit ok. So here we are into our main composition so let's start by creating an ellipse so just double click on this icon. So it's gonna create an ellipse like that. The stroke is set to 30 pixels but you can tweak it according to your requirements. I'm just gonna leave it at 30 pixels. Then I'm gonna go into ellipse 1, ellipse path 1, unlink the size and change this to 250 by 250 link this back up and let's go ahead and add a trim path and now we can animate the trim paths like that so let's as you can see the edges are pretty choppy so let's go into stroke let's say, set the line cap from butt cap to rounded cap so now we have some really nice and circular edges and let's go ahead and animate the trim path so let's go to let's say one second and ten frames Let's set this up to 50%, create a keyframe, go back in time and set this to 0. So now we have something like this. Then I'm going to go to let's say 1 second, create a keyframe on start property, go to 2 seconds and set this to 50%. So now we should have something like this as you can see. Maybe I'll put it around 1 second and 5 frame just like that. So we have this really simple looking motion. So let's select the keyframes. Hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes. Go to graph editor and let's create a curve like so. Kind of a mountain peak. And the same for this as well. just like that so let's see how our animation looks yep that is actually looking pretty good now one thing that we're gonna want to do is I want the circle to be right over there all the time present in our animation so to do that I'm gonna create a keyframe right over here just like that and let's delete this keyframes so the circle is gonna be there all the time so you can see now what we can do is let's go to around three seconds maybe select the shape layer let's rename this to 01 hit P to bring down the position properties let's create a keyframe just like that go back to two seconds or maybe let's drag this keyframe back to two seconds let's go to around 20 frames and drag this just like that you can also turn on the title action save just to be a bit more precise so maybe I'll just put it to right over there let's go 3 second and 10 frames and let's bring this up in the position just like that and this time I'm gonna keep it in the center just like that so now we have something like this as you can see looks really lame at the moment so let's make it look really really cool so let's select the keyframes and hit F9 to ease those keyframes go to graph editor and let's create some really nice curves so go I'm gonna make it start really slow and then speed up so let's create a curve like that maybe and let's bring this back just like that let's see how it looks Yep, that is looking quite nice. Let's make it a bit more something like that. Maybe I'll make it just like that. 
let's see it's a bit too fast so let's drag this just like that you just need to quick keep on tweaking a bit so to get that really nice and perfect looking motion yep this is looking much better yep I'm happy with that now what I can do is select this let's close this up let's see our animation pretty quick yeah pretty sweet now I can pre-comp this so let's right click pre-comp it you can call it anything that you want I'm just gonna call it 01 and hit OK so here I have our first animation now what I need to do is just duplicate it by hitting Control D to duplicate it let's rename this to 02 and let's add a fill to it let's make it maybe blue and I'm gonna rotate it or maybe I'll scale this down unlink this and scale this down to minus 100 let's see what we have um, it's not actually what I'm going for so let's control Z to undo it and I'm gonna rotate it let's go and rotate it to 180 degrees let's see if that is what we are going for yep that is what I'm going for there we have it let's go into the composition and turn on the motion blur to make it look even more better so let's see yep that motion blur is making them look really really nice let's create a background pretty quick so I'm gonna hit ctrl Y to create a new solid name this BG for background make it kind of an off-white color hit OK let's drag this below we can lock this up here we have something like this which looks really nice and sweet and really simple to create now what I can do is and go into the composition the main comp select this hit ctrl C to copy it go to main composition and hit ctrl V to paste it up change this to white and bring down the scale property to 10 or the stroke property or the stroke size to 10 so now we have something like that and as you can see it looks really really cool and the same thing I, I'm gonna do with the blue one so let's go into the second one or maybe I'll, I can just duplicate it but for that I need to pre-comb this so let's call this line hit OK Control D to duplicate it and rotate it by 180 degrees there we go yep that is looking really nice so at the time the two the two dots combine I want my logo to pop up so for now let's create a circle which we can use as a logo let's fill this up with any any color that you like maybe I'll go with an orange it's okay let's create by holding alt shift and control at the same time so let's consider this as our logo let's type in a text maybe something like DM for dope motions mm, and let's change the font to something like a uni sans heavy maybe yep that looks pretty good let's make it white and place it up in the center it's a bit close maybe around zero let's increase the size a bit and place it in the center just like that so let's say this is our logo and we can then pre-comp this so let's select this layers and pre-comp it let's call this logo hit ok now we can animate the scale property of the logo so let's hit s to bring down the scale properties let's go to around 3 second and 10 frames let's click on the stopwatch to cre create a keyframe let's set the scale to 0 and let's go to around maybe 4 second and 10 frames and bring this up to 100 select the keyframes hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes go to graph editor and I want to switch to edit in value graph select this handles and just drag it maybe around just like that or hold control so we can create a point and we can drag this point just like that to create kind of an overshoot you know something a bit like that let's drag this a bit just like that Let's see how it looks uh, it's too slow we need to bring this keyframes a bit close or so maybe around just like that let's see yep that is actually looking pretty good 
Yup, let's turn on motion blur. Let's see what we have. Yup, that is looking really sweet. Now to add a bit more accent to it, I'm going to create a new ellipse. Let's set the stroke. We don't need to fill for now. So let's set this to none. Give it the same color as our logo. Let's increase the stroke for now. This is going to be our pop up. And we are going to try to animate the stroke. So first of all, I'm going to bring down the size unlink this and to bring down the size, let's say 500 pixels by 500 pixels. Probably bring this down. Let's go to right over here. Let's bring this down to zero. Create a keyframe. Go to around there. Bring this up just right over here then go to stroke and let's create a keyframe right over here to maybe around 50 let the stroke width to 50 pixels create a keyframe go right over here and set this to zero so we have something like this kind of a pop-up stroke you know add a bit more accent to it Obviously, I'm going to bring this down a bit more. So we have something like that. As you can see, let's hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes. Let's go to maybe I'll drag it a bit just like that. Go to graph editor and switch to edit speed graph. Let's create a peak like so. Yep, this is looking pretty good as you can see. Maybe drag this keyframes a bit, just like that. Let's see what we have. Yep, this is looking actually pretty good. Let's set the stroke to around 75 maybe. Yep, that is actually looking pretty good. You can also, you know, make it look even more complex by just control D to duplicate it. Increase the scale a bit, just like that and decrease the stroke size to Oh, we can't decrease the stroke size because we are animating it. So hit U. Let's go right over here. And set the stroke size to maybe around 40. And let's go to stroke. And set this. And let's click on this plus icon. So this is going to add some dashes to our stroke to make it look really, really cool. As you can see right over here. And maybe we can increase it or decrease it depending on our... You know depending on us so maybe i'll keep it right over here let's see how it looks yep this is looking actually pretty cool so as you can see it's really simple to create and looks really really interesting and fun so let's add some really nice shadows to make it look even more cool so let's select all the layers pre-comp it call this maybe the main animation Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Let's hide the first layer. So this is our sec second layer, which is going to be the shadow. So let's add a CC radial blur pretty quick. Let's set this to 70. And set this to centered zoom. So we have something like that. And then we can select this icon right over here. The center one. So let's select this. So I don't know. I, I'm not able to see it. So let's select the center one. Just like that. Maybe I'll place it right over here. So we have this kind of really nice blur effect as you can see we can rotate it or keep it wherever you want so I'm going to keep it right over here and let's change this to straight zoom maybe yep that is what I'm going for let's add a levels to this thing there we go let's set this to alpha and bring this down just maybe right over here and let's add a fill pretty quick let's set this to black so we have something like that okay that is doing pretty good let's stretch this even more just like that we can decrease the opacity to get a really nice and subtle shadow to maybe i'll keep it around let's go with eight percent should look good yep that is looking pretty good let's add a linear wipe pretty quick and let's set this to 20 percent so we can see it and rotate it just like that 
we increase it a bit and increase the feather to all the way up to 1200 so we have a really nice fading out shadow so we can turn the above layer and here you can see we have a really nice looking shadow for our animation now always you can you know you can always go ahead and tweak some settings to make it look even more cool but i'm happy with this i think this looks pretty good so yep it was really simple and easy to create logo reveal but you can use it in number of things kind of a really nice fun minimal looking logo reveal so so i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next tutorial till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and i'm sorry for this rough voice i'll get well soon i'll get this voice fixed as soon as possible it hurts actually so anyways i'll see you in my next video till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative